college in the U.S. is considered to be quite a status symbol in India. And you will definitely would like to serve a very good job in India. You can get very high figure income in India. Uh, and you can get a good job in America too, in uh, other countries also. English is a very important factor in Korea. When I want to get a job, I have to have a like, perfect score for any English test. So that was the most reason I came here. But I and I can also have some advantages if I <coughs> if I graduate from American University. Um, coming from the UK, I needed to take the SAT, um, as all you guys do, I think. I also needed to submit my, we take A-levels, they're called, which is our like final exam coming out of high school. So I needed to submit that as well. I decided to study Storybrook because this is quite famous in India too, and it's a very big university. And everybody, you know, even the fees are not so high. It's a, it's a government university, state government university. So everybody likes to be over here. And most of the students from India are in Stony Brook University. You said the academics were strong. I'm on the track team. We've got a good athletics program. Um, coming from the UK, it was near New York. It was a, you know, just a nice area. My experience is so far so good because I like this university, I like the students over here, I like the faculty over here and every, every, everyone is quite, quite good and you know, quite compromised. It hasn't been too difficult really, I think um, coming from England I don't have any language uh, problems or anything like that so I think it's been fairly easy to adjust. Um, there's a few internationals on my team as well with me so that's made it easier. But in general, um, yeah, in general it's been fine really, nothing, no, no big dramas or any sort of big hurdles to overcome. It's been fairly easy to sort of assimilate to, to American life and the university system. The custom, obviously, you know, when I came here in uh, 05, it was a little difficult to adjust, you know, the accent and the culture was different and, uh, yeah, it was, it was difficult. And uh, you know, I got adjusted. You know, it was uh, it was the first time I was living by myself. You know, I had to uh, learn cooking, um, do my own laundry, and, and all the other that kind of stuff. But it was a, it's you know, it's, it has been a good experience uh, to me so far. Actually, it depends on people. Some people are so cold to international students that like even we ask something like they said oh we can understand what you said but like some people are so nice like if they realize i'm an international student they try to help me but it's totally different up to some extent yes but i feel they could uh, do a much better job uh, i have a have my own experience but i don't want to go into that but I, I feel that you know they can help out more and provide some kind of support Actually, my country to enter university is so difficult. It's like kind of difficult examination, but in the United States, kind of easy to enter university. The most difficult thing is graduate to university is difficult in the United States. My country, it's kind of automatically. Of course, we have some examination to graduate, but not so difficult. And then most of people, like 90% people can graduate, but in the United States, it's kind of the university system is quite different. Um, in, um, in the UK you're pretty much specialising straight away in what you do and um, it'll be very specific throughout and it's a three year course. Out here, as you know, it's a lot of deck requirements, you know, things that aren't associated with your major directly, so it's quite different in that, in that regard. I feel like the standards over here is a little better um, in terms of uh, practical experience, you know, in terms of working in a lab, if you're a science major or in terms of exposure, you know, if you're like a business major or, or journalism, it's much better. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, like the SUNY State University of New York has acquired a good reputation in Korea. So I can have some advantage when I want to get a job in Korea. I think this whole experience can be uh, Value in my life. 
Yeah, I think so. Um, I'd like to get into sort of uh, international politics or business, so I think it'll make me a lot more employable coming from the US. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's uh, been a good experience culturally and and things like that. So yeah, I think all around it's been it's been a good decision. Uh, I will go to graduate school to learn my to learn about my major film directing. Uh, my plans after I well you know I'm graduate I'm going to be graduating pretty soon this year and I'm looking for a job you know to get some experience in, in, in my industry and my long term plans is. Uh, you know, to work for a while, maybe a couple of years, two, three years, and then uh, apply for a business school and maybe uh, get my MBA. Like, I believe that it's such an awesome opportunity, a chance to kind of see the world. A lot, a lot of people coming to some the universities this is their first time coming to the United States, first time going out there. So. I believe that this is not only a chance for them to further their education, but a chance to see more of the world and possibly get one of the best opportunities out there here in the United States. Because if you get a degree in the U.S., it's a lot more than getting it in a lot of other countries, only because our education has a lot more to it than a lot of other areas. Like, you have to, it's a lot, it's a higher standard, I feel like, and that's why a lot of kids from you know different places come over here and try to get a degree because when you go back it means more. A good attempt, I suppose. Um, I mean it's there's a lot of things that some people cannot control as far as uh, the amount of people and the ethnicity type that does attend the school. Well, actually, yeah, in college and in high school. In high school, we had a student coming from Ghana. Uh, his name was Samuel Bentel. Uh, first day of school, I walked up to him and said, Hi, my name is Sid. And we had a conversation. I found out he was from Ghana. I'm from uh, Dakar, Senegal, which is an African country, and we had a lot in common. I believe that my experiences here at Stony Brook with many of my uh, friends, most of whom are international, actually. Uh, I've, I've learned a lot. Uh, and I don't think I'd ever change the experiences for the world. My name is Gajendra Kapoor from Delhi, India. Uh, hi, my name is Bo and I'm from Korea. Hey, so I'm uh, Ian Whitfield and I'm from England. Hello everyone, my name is Shishank and I'm from India. I'm Akiko Haneda, I'm from Japan. I'm Jung Ha Yu, I'm from South Korea. My name is David Alexis, I was born and raised here in New York. Kristen from Nassau, Long Island. Sid Benjamin, Huntington Station, New York. <laughs>